Hold up for a second. Imagine the possibilities of the rumors. Think about this. Fearless draft LPL the shy in best of fives. That is insane. Think about it. That goes crazy. You know it, and I know it. The shy in fearless draft. That goes crazy hard. That goes crazy hard. Is he coming back? Okay, in all seriousness, the current rumor is that the shy is going to be joining LNG. That means it would be the shy and Wei Wei back together from Weibo, plus Scout, Gala, and maybe Mark or Hong. Now, you're telling me LNG, the shy, doesn't sound sexy? That sounds mega sexy. Plus Scout and Gala, plus his World Finals jungler that got him there, that knows how to play around the shy, plus Hong. Chat. That's the best roster I've ever heard in my life. Gala, the legend. Scout, my goat. Come on, lock it in. Hung, my little psychopath. Plus the shy. Hung and the shy on both side lanes. It's absolute degenerate land. You're all gonna become LNG fans with me. I know it. I know that you guys, when, when the shy comes back, you're not gonna be the shy haters anymore. You, I think a lot of you are gonna convert into the shy enjoyers. I think you are secretly all the shy enjoyers. You just like the hate on him when he dies. But I know you're all secretly the shy enjoyers. You are. You secretly love him. Secretly, you think the league is better with him in it. Whether he's inting or not, the league's better with him. And that's facts, no pointer. That's facts. I love it how I... Like, okay. Double lift calls... Double lift shit talks me for no reason about my tier list with no context at all. Okay. I couldn't give a shit, honestly. Like, I, I don't really care. Like, if he wants to call me out in front of his viewers, I don't care. Like, I'm not going to entertain the idea of calling him out again. You know, I'm not going to slap back, you know. Uh, he doesn't even watch Pro League, like, live, right? He said he got coaching for LCK, did one day, and then stopped. So I, it's, not my, it's not my business to, like, go in on him, right? So I ignored it. I dropped it. And then Dom drops a 20-minute video on it. It's like, Cajal wants to avoid drama. Double lift says something like, I would say the best word to describe is like disrespectful, I guess, towards me. I couldn't really give a shit. I don't want to get involved in drama. And then Dom just fucking unleashes on him for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Dom is such a beast, man. Yo, Dom, Dom and me go way back, man. That guy, Dom always has my back. It's crazy. And, uh, I also do think any excuse to flame double lift is good for him. Because I mean what double lift said about Dom was kinda I, I don't really I mean what double lift said about Dom was kinda disgusting. I didn't realize he said this. React to the lying allegations. So Dom called him out for lying about lane swaps, basically, I think. Um I, I don't wanna watch anything that Dom has to say. This guy is just a parasite on the community. I didn't realize he said that. Complete moron. Complete moron. Like, what the fuck? Uh, so, yeah. To be honest, I feel like that then gets a bit personal, doesn't it? Like, it's gone from, hey, your league opinion's wrong, to you're a fucking idiot, fuck you. I don't know. Everyone's got their own opinion. Everyone's like, Dom's right. Someone else is like, double lift is my goat. The other guy's like, stop farming each other for money. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the comments are great. I mean, if you want to put it into context, <laughs> it's like, it has 750 comments. When was the last time you saw a Reddit thread with 750 comments that wasn't the post-match thread? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like 750 comments? People are going crazy. And I watched this video and Dom was like, kind of correct. He didn't watch my, my tier list video. Watch it. Today okay, watch it. I came across this. Bro, look, listen to Dom's voice. He sounds so proud. He's like, today... I'm about to give Double Lift a fisting session. Video on my YouTube feed from Double Lift criticizing Kajrel's MSI tier list. And I had to make this video because I feel like so much bullshit goes on. Um... I remember, sorry, before this starts, there was one comment on Reddit thread like, why doesn't Kajrel stand up for himself? Dom's his bodyguard. It's like, it's not about Dom being my bodyguard. I think Dom just doesn't like it when people get disrespected in the community. Like, Dom will just call anyone out. Talk, let's go, man. But uh, I can fight my own battles, you know? Like, if I wanted to fight back, I would, but I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not about that. Uh, 
I feel like what I've learned from drama is it never ends well. Sure, you get clicks, but both of you just look a bit silly afterwards, you know? Like, guys, chill out. But this, 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 I don't think this is drama, what Dom's doing. Dom's just, to me, to me at least, is double if said something, and then Dom's proving him wrong, basically. Because there's a difference between having a take and shitting on someone else's take, you know? Um, in the league space right now, especially with, with content creators. And one thing that I really hate is people going out and putting their opinion um, into the world or into the conversation without doing any of their due diligence, without watching games. Um, I feel like you can have your opinion. Uh, Talk, you know, I, everyone go, can have different opinions. I'm fine with, with people having opinions, people having different opinions than me. All that stuff is all good. The one thing that I really... D there, don't get involved. How can I not get involved? It's all... I'm the root of all of this. I, the tree has grown and there are the branches. I'm at the bottom underneath the soil, man. This is... <laughs> What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I am involved in this now. I mean, I want to watch the video. The chat wants to watch the video. We'll watch the video and then we'll, 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 we'll wrap it up. Dom's defending me, you know? I feel like, I feel like... Talk. Let's go, man. I don't know. The hate is when somebody... I've never had someone yeah, defend me like this before. I That's crazy. And put her playlist underneath XDD. I've never had someone defend me Puts before. Puts in 150th, 1 100th of the work of other people. In terms of actually trying to figure out what is going on, watching games yourself. My 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 things my just, orders here soon, you know, so let's watch. Just shits on them for their take. So uh, we're gonna watch some clips of Doublelift reacting to Cajal here, Cajal's MSI tier list, and then I'm going to explain why I think that this is so fucking cringe and so disingenuous to to go about things. So let's start it off. Well, okay, okay, let's go see Cajal's tier list. Let's go see Cajal's tier list. Cajal MSI tier list. <laughs> He put BLG. That's a good tier list, bro. Like, let me say, like, I'm gonna make a tier list too. Uh, I might have some things different in terms of tiers, but this is an extremely good tier list in my opinion. I think this is very fair. Um, I would have, yeah, like, I would say that that this is completely defensible. Everything makes sense. Nothing about this is ridiculous at all. Like, I watched a little bit of Loud. I didn't watch PSG at all. Um, so I have no good clue where list, I, would, I would actually rank PSG. I've heard that Also, by the way, last thing is, uh, I just want to say, I think Dom also is... Like, some people seem to have this idea that Dom's doing this because he's trying to prove Doublelift wrong. It's not about proving his opinion wrong, you know? If Doublelift thinks Gen G is the best, or Top Esports are trash, or G2 is the best, that's fine. Like, you can think anyone's the best. If you have a defensible argument, it's fine. It's just like saying that the other person for thinking that is dumb as hell, you know? that That's the whole point of this, right? pretty good maybe they end up being able to beat a second seed from i guess na because they won't have the opportunity to beat the second seed from eu because of the way that the brackets turned he out hates double lift? Um, no i know that he fucking I think hates this him. is a really good tier list so shouldn't be any criticism right like this is a, a guy who watches league perma right like cajal and i probably watch the most league in the entire world out of all co-streamers um we both cover four four regions uh i cover like borderline five with, with now doing like cb lol i did uh what like about seven days of cb lol over the course of true of the dumb year, what are our lives we wake up and watch league actually, all day because there's only 18 days of regular season so yeah i mean i think that that if you were to talk about this tier list i could 100 percent understand the reasoning just from looking at this i think blg being the best team for, uh, over genji i think this is preference right like if you were to ask Kadrol, why do you have blg over genji i'm sure Sorry, he what? would say something similar to what i would say which is that the weakness of genji is their bot lane Genji True. has a a like bad laning bot lane specifically, and BLG's biggest strength is their bot lane two v twos and interactions with jungle. True. And you can definitely see a world with BLG playing against Genji where BLG wins the game hard through bot. I'm True. sure Kedra would some would say something similar to this. That's exactly what I said. Because we actually watch the fucking games, right? Like that. That's a very <laughs> that's logical. That's exactly what I said. Oh, man. I said that they can play their micro lane swap XDD. shenanigans and they can swap away from their bot. But they can only do that after minute six or seven. But BLG normally plays timers earlier than that for bot dives. So if they execute it well, they'll always be heading tempo through bot. Cool line of reasoning. So let's see what Double Left has to say. He put oh, BLG higher than Gen G and T. He put BLG higher G than Gen G and T. Plus what? Years broke Ugh, up like with that's such a crazy. Okay, like, how is that crazy at all? Like, 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 what, like, it's just overreaction for content, I guess. Whatever, I'm fine with he it. He won. He's no. 
No, he's capping. He's capping. BLG didn't show anything better than that. Maybe they did in the regular season, but in the finals that I just watched, it didn't show anything better than Genji and T1. Okay, so in the finals that he just watched, so here, here's something funny. There's actually more games than just regular season and finals. So he didn't watch regular season, but he also didn't watch semifinals. He didn't watch quarterfinals. Like he doesn't <laughs> actually spend time seeing the trajectory of the team, trying to understand the fundamental play style of BLG and try to understand why they might be a good matchup into Genji, why they could be the best team in the world. Instead, we just say, Hey, I, I watch finals. Also, True. the term watching finals is so f***ing loose. I went back to his VOD where he watched finals. He's like, yeah, I have no idea about LPL. I'm going to watch finals tomorrow. He just skimmed through the VODs of finals. He watched much like love. all of finals within pretty much like an hour and 40 minutes, like an hour and a half, something like that. And he just like skipped through most of the VODs. Like that, that wouldn't even qualify as a true VOD review. Like that is not an in-depth <laughs> VOD review. He didn't watch it live. He just like skimmed through the VOD and he's like... All right, bro. Like, Kajrel is fing capping, bro. Kajrel, like, what is Kajrel doing? BLG higher? What the f? How the f are they in a completely different tier than Genji and T1? He might have been paid by CCP. Wait, is he like, farming? I get that this is a joke, but I mean, he's he's clearly just disagreeing with it. Social credit? Paid by CCP farming what social credit. What the Dude, fuck? check him social credit. This is. How, is, how are they in a completely different tier than Genji and T1? I could maybe. If I was like on some sort of hard drugs, I could see. Or, or wait, wait. Or if you watch the fucking games, isn't that crazy? Wait, what happens if you just watch the game? It's like maybe if I was on hard drugs, I could see this happen. It's like, or if you just watch the games like Kadrill did, like I did, you could also have such a similar take to this and understand why he's saying it. But instead, let's just Lawyer say that, that you have to be on drugs to to see the game like this to have this opinion sure he, true putting them in the same tier as genji i cannot see them being an entire tier above genji listen i think the whole the whole like uh root of this is like just i guess respect you know it's like i'm not i'm not a person who will care about this stuff but i do think it's like a bit disrespectful to just look at a screenshot and call someone high as fucking you know shit on their opinion at least get some context maybe you know i'm not gonna sit here and like shit on him for not respecting whatever but or like being a human about someone's opinion you know at least just like am i not worth five minutes of your time for you to form your opinion before you shit on me is that is that it you're gonna think that i'm doing this for for like is this tier list just for clout or, or for something like I don't, I don't get it what you're trying to like get at though i guess gnt1 it's lpl buff at Wait, msi my, he gave reasoning on stream it's hard to judge based off of a picture one sec, daily reminder that he does three grown men beefing over tier lists in <laughs> true <laughs> the beef is stemming from a tier list of a kid's a fucking child's wizard game to be honest but fuck it the, oh, that kid's oh, wizard man. game is our life i guess so we're going deep hey cathedral you are the best streamer ever you will receive oh, payment in two to three days please delete the last part for donation Bro, shut up. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm done watching this. I, I, I don't like... Um, if you want to watch the full video, it's on Dom's YouTube. He went kind of crazy on double lift. I feel like it's a mixture of double lift and finish it. You want to finish it? Pog, let's go, man. It's a, okay. It's a mixture of... Okay, we'll finish Much it. Much love. Like, Kedril, Kedril admire is, is your work pretty ethic. reasonable about the game, man. Like, I know that some people get mad at, like, his overreactions or whatever. Like... I don't think that Kadrel analyzes oh, the game. When he does man. content like this, when he does a tier list, I don't think he does anything disingenuous. I don't think he panders at all to like any fan base. Also, the idea that Kadrel is like pandering to Chinese fan base or he's pandering to the LPL or CCP or whatever, like obviously CCP is a fucking joke in, in the context. I Chat, what that. is social credit? But I don't get it. What is The fact that mean? he would be pandering to LPL doesn't make any sense. Like LPL has way less fans than LCK. And generally, when LCK and LPL are both on, Kajrel chooses to watch LCK over LPL. Like, I would assume that he likes LCK more than he likes LPL based off yeah, I do. the content that he chooses to produce, right? True. So the idea that he would be putting this just to, like, pander LCK to is my day one. is just such a fucking weird take. The play versus the field, right? How well LCK will you play versus first every single stream. team? And that's exactly why... My day one. That's exactly why I think... I saw this comment that Forrest actually tweeted, and this is so accurate. Alternate title to Doublelift's MSI tier list is Doublelift ranks LPL and LCK teams based on watching one series from each region. <laughs> Doublelift is so lost, bro actually said 369 and Jackie Love are bad players and LPL is just as good as, as 369, LCK. 369, bad the player? The fact that Doublelift thinks 369 is the that best top, top in the world has showed less than Fnatic's bot lane 
up until this point over the course of the year is just mind-blowing bro like this guy plays in bot lane but the reason why it's not actually mind-blowing is because he doesn't watch it so he's just talking to talk i guess but i'm gonna put, i'm gonna make a tier list of pro play i'm gonna make a tier list of players and 369 might be number one of top laners and then everyone's gonna be like why the fuck did Kajo put 369 best top in the world <laughs> there's no way Kajo said yeah i just think gen g's gonna choke talk, and, and go, zeus man. is gonna end like what that's not the logic he probably gave comments about how zeus has been playing recently like zeus had a bad final like zeus has champ some issues sucks. with his champion pool yeah he, hasn't he been gets able cold to play all the time everything in the meta right now like he hasn't played rex to a a decent level his like udir wasn't good earlier in the year feels like he yeah. is like a niche Highest, counter pick type deaths. of guy um and when that type of stuff gets banned out it becomes a lot harder for him to function as we saw in finals this could be something that would be more reasonable i don't think kajol is just like mm, yeah i think zeus is fucking bad like he didn't even watch the video you think blg is the best team i thought zeus was the best top in the world in january <laughs> in the world the entire regular season oh, okay. he just loves blg he's just right. I, mean, I, I love blg chad whenever i ever said i love blg i love damon i don't love blg i don't really care if blg wins i actually cheered oh, for top esports go, to man. win against him in the finals yeah the tier list night didn't look that good night didn't look that good Knight didn't look that good. I mean, Knight, Knight was literally the MVP, by the way. Like, Knight, Knight is literally the fucking M MVP uh, of LPL. I think there might be a, a reason, by the way, that he was the, the MVP of LPL. But moreover, if you looked at Knight and you saw what he did in finals, like what he was playing in finals, it, wouldn't that be some context as to why Knight didn't look as good as, here. as he normally does? Like, he wasn't playing champions that he is known for. Like, he played Aesol as a counterpick to Azir when they were already up in the series. So, it's like, you can say whatever about that game. Okay, he played um, he played Aesol into Azir, whatever. His Aesol, it's like his first... Also, Cream really wants to first pick Azir against BLG. So, every single time they could, they just picked Azir away. And Knight was playing Azir because it was a denial pick, I think. I think his, his zero is obviously not the best, but... <laughs> this is really all Bro, the teams on the I, Basically, the best way I can describe this is like, let's say I'm at school, okay, and I'm walking around, I just closed my locker, I'm walking to class, and Double Lift walks up to me and he's like... And I got in, like, let's say I just did, I've been studying science all, all year, and he comes up to me and goes, You know nothing about science, idiot! And I'm like, okay, I don't care what you think, and I walk away. And then I hear a noise behind me. I turn around and Dom's just fucking knocked him out with his fist instantly on the ground and he's screaming at him. We're like, shut the fuck up, idiot! That's basically what's happened. So I'm just kind of sitting there like, oh, <laughs> damn. I mean, it's only, tw it's 12 teams, guys. It's a lot of teams for MSI. Why do we I think T1 are going to spring MSI? Because T1 always the does the best thing that we ever at these heard. tournaments where they have to play against like a wide variety of opponents. And I think T1 powers up over time as well. I think T1 has like a particularly bad matchup against G Gen G, but when T1... Okay, so let's talk about this point here. T1 has been to the last two MSIs. They've lost the last two MSIs. This is True. not a tournament where you play against a massive field the same way that Worlds is. Like, True. Their, games in, their games in play in just because they play in play-in and they get to play against more teams, that doesn't mean anything. They're going to play against play-in teams that absolutely suck compared to them they're gonna roll over them it's gonna be really fucking free they're gonna gain nothing from it and then they're going to jump into the bracket stage once the bracket stage starts it's like a 10-day tournament bro this is not like yeah. some fucking massive massive tournament where it goes on for months and months so the whole idea that like yes t1 powers up over time part of the reason why i think that lck does better at worlds than they do at msi historically is because of the duration of the tournament True. Worlds is a much Actually, longer tournament, that. and you play it all on the same patch. So as time goes on, it feels like LCK is really good at refining themselves and really understanding the meta by the end of the tournament. MSI True. is a much shorter tournament, and it's very hard to adapt to teams like, for example, BLG, who play extremely aggressively. They play like no team in the LCK with the way they bot dive, the way that they play. Actual good point, though. Heavily. It's hard to adapt to that in a short period of time. <laughs> is this a video wrong? call? Yeah, we're that just having team. our daily meeting about we're making content for MSI. Because at Worlds, like, oh, Genji wait, played T1 and smashed already. them. They literally played the World Champions and smashed them in their game, and then, like, lost to others. Lost to everyone else. Who did they lose to? Oh, wait, they lost to BLG. We made literally zero good points, and we just disagreed with it to disagree. And then said that, like, Kajal was paid by the CCP. Or he's just trying to improve his social credit.
and the only way you could see this tier list happening is if you're on drugs like what the f man can double if please shut the f up man <laughs> bro dumb is crazy 28 Jesus. months punk okay well i think i wouldn't be able to do the stream if because I know that every every 10 minutes, there'll be like two or three people like, yo, did you see that video that Dom made? Yo, did you see that? So now we've watched it. Okay, it's done. Thank you again. I appreciate Dom for like um, standing up for me. That's it's just really nice for him. Um, nice by him. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't have anything against Double Lift. I don't hate him for what he said, you know. I don't hate him for what he said. I'm not going to fucking despise him, whatever. If you disagree with something, that's fine. I would just appreciate if you didn't like shit on opinions without doing like a bit more due diligence into at least showing the respect to give me five minutes of your time to listen to the opinion. Especially considering like this is my life, this kind of things, you know, I don't just make these opinions for fun. Uh, yeah, that's all I would ask in the future. That's all. All right. How did he shit on you? Well, he didn't shit on me. I'm saying it's just about like giving me the space to like, you know, yeah, I made a video on it, not a screenshot on it, right? The shy is back in pro play! For summer split, LNG the shy. Oh yeah, by the way, chat, I got a package today. I got a package today, I put it on my Instagram story. I got a signed jersey by Damwon, they sent it to me in the post. Lucid, Aiming, Kingen, Showmaker, and Kellen. Although I'm not going to lie, this looks like Keria. Look, K-E-R-I-A. Kellen, your, your signature looks like Keria. I'm, I'm just going to tell it. Uh, it really does. Think about it. Doesn't it? Doesn't it look like Keria? Ke Fuck can I cancel re sub? Ah. <laughs> yo, 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 no, 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 you can't be making memes like that. You can't be making memes like that. No, that doesn't work like that. What's the ceiling of Fnatic? Hmm. I don't think it's that high. Current T1 BLG roll by roll comparison, who's better? BLG's better. Roll by roll is hard though, because they're quite different styles. Uh, I would say, I don't know, man. Watch the whole Azir game. I would say Zeus's ceiling can be higher than Bin's, but right now Bin is better. I would say Shunan owner, similar similar players, like skill level, but I think um, style is way different. Like owner will play, um, he, he, he will play tanks. He will play like Rel. Or he'll play like Xin Zhao, whereas Jun will play things like Kindred and Vi, Instalock and shit like that. Um, I don't know. The overlap difference is like Shun will play less tanks. Like Shun won't be caught playing Maokai or Rel or Sejuani and owner will, you know. Faker Knight, Faker again, more flexible. Knight has shown like he has more carry potential, but Faker is better at setting his team up for success and Faker's probably more of a voice than Knight is but Faker has always been just super flexible I think Faker's lane phase was world like top two in the world the first two months of this year now it fell off a little bit I'll do a longer video about it re later um, AD carry I think Elk is just I think Elk is the best AD in the world right now after having reviewed a lot of his games. And carry on are also s different styles. Viper exists. Yeah, I know. That's why when I do my AD carry tier list, I'm going to have Viper in it. Even though he's not an MSI. Just to shout out to my fallen, my fallen goat. Force and speaking facts. Christ! What the fuck is fucking AFK in their face? I told you, ADC is the most brain that. Uh, role you can have. They're always brain dead. 
True. ADC players always drain them. True. Oh my god. Nice E. Pride. Wait, he's... His mechanics on Zek there were not bad. All professional teams that have qualified for MSI are also invited to co-stream the entire tournament and leverage existing traitors that a full show officially iterated to their teams. Rat has guaranteed co-streaming rights for MSI. I mean, I can't say anything. I, ca I mean, uh, I can't say anything, but... Uh, that rule sounds kind of nice. <laughs> that rule sounds kind of nice for co-streamers. 